Hi, my name is Rickson Don. I'm the CEO and Chief Engineer of SOTU. Today I'm going to demonstrate the Flip Action Go 14-inch portable monitor. In the box, there's a pouch, and then there's the monitor itself. We have two cords. One is the mini HDMI to HDMI cord. The other is a Type-C to Type-C cord. It also comes with the adapter. I'll describe it later. And there's a user manual. So let's peel off the protective cover. This is the gold color. We call it Moonlight. It's one of the four options. We also have black, gray, and silver. When traveling, you can put this monitor in the pouch like this. You can stuff the cord on the side like this. The monitor itself, collapsed, is about half an inch thick. Today, we're going to demonstrate the monitor using with the cell phone and also with the laptop. And then we're going to talk about some accessories. Uh, let's start with the cell phone. So this is a really low power monitor. Uh, the maximum power at maximum brightness is about 5 watts. So when we connect this to a phone, the phone battery can actually power this up. This is a Samsung Galaxy S24, and it has a dex mode. OK, so now we enter the dex mode. Um, we can use the phone as a trackpad for the mouse to open browser or You can look at pictures. These are pictures from CES. Then we're going to demonstrate the monitor using with the laptop. This is a MacBook Air. So simply connect the computer to the monitor with one cable. And it goes to the main uh, Type-C connector, same as the phone. Um, you simply connect it, and then it should just work. We can arrange these so this is on the left. Then I'm going to try to drag this uh, window to the left. If your device doesn't have a Type-C display port, um, this cord, you can use it for signal transfer. Uh, it's a HDMI to mini HDMI. So on the, on the monitor side, you would use uh, the mini HDMI. And on the device side, you have to use the HDMI. And you would use this cord, this Type-C cord, for power. So there is a, a power in port. Um, you can either use the main port or the power in port for power. When you only have USB-A to power the unit up, you can use this uh, USB-A to USB-C adapter. This would allow you to use the monitor with only USB-A power. Um, another thing I'd like to mention, uh, I'm not going to demonstrate here, is that this monitor has power pass-through. So if the computer is connected to the monitor, to the main connector, you can plug in the monitor with the computer charger onto this power import, and it'll charge the laptop and also provide power for the monitor. So that saves one power plug for the computer. We also have some accessories here that we're going to do a quick demonstration. First of all is the tripod mount. Um, it allows us to connect the monitor with a tripod. This one has a quarter inch screw. You can screw onto any. Just do this. And then you can connect the monitor. There's a dock here. You can connect it, and you can have, it mon have a monitor like that. You can also rotate this monitor. Um, That's why it's called flip action. So you can rotate 90 degrees this way. You can also rotate 90 degrees that way. Or you can rotate it 180 degrees like that. Um, you can use it without the any type of base. You just do um, simply rotate like this. And it'll work. Um, the second accessory would be the base stand. This base stand is actually designed for the monitor. 
When you put it on the back, it, uh, it matches exactly. And it's also the same profile thickness, half an inch. And you can take it off. It's magnetized to the back. So you can expand it like that. You can connect like that. And also you can do the, the rotations. Um, you can also connect it like this if you want. Works like that too. Uh, the third accessory we, ha we have here is a um, vest mount adapter. So it's uh, a plate that goes onto the vest mount. And this monitor can be connected to this adapter like this. Then you will be able to uh, rotate as well. Uh, last but not least, I'd like to uh, introduce a little bit about the controls on this monitor. It has a, uh, it looks like one button, but it's actually four buttons in one. It's up and down, left and right. It allows you to, con uh, to control the color of the monitor. There is a OSD menu that you can have access with these buttons. Uh, I'm not going to explain the details of the menu. Um, it's well explained in the manual here, so thanks for watching.